Hello guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are covering one of the most important yet tricky topics of data structure that is trees. In this series, we will be going through all the topics in trees and cover some conceptual questions to get a hands-on on the topic as we move ahead. So please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. In this video, we will go through the introduction to binary tree data structure. So let's get started. Today, we will learn about binary tree, its type, properties of binary tree and the structure of binary tree. So, what is a binary tree? Binary tree is a type of tree in which a parent node have at most two children. That is, it can have either zero, one or two children only. For example, this can be termed as a binary tree. As each node is either a leaf node with no child or has a maximum of two children. By default, if a node is a leaf node, its left and right child are null as shown here. A binary tree can be classified into three types. A strict binary tree, full or a perfect binary tree and a complete binary tree. Let's go through each one of them. A strict binary tree is the one in which each node strictly has two children or none. In the diagram, you can see that each node has both left and right child nodes or has no child node at all. In a full or perfect binary tree, each node has exactly two children and the leaf nodes are at same level. These are full or completely filled trees. In a complete binary tree, every level except possibly the last one are completely filled and all the nodes in the last level are as far left as possible. So, if we see the levels except the last one, it represents a perfect binary tree. And on the last level, the nodes are filled from left to right. Thus, the nodes are far left on the last level. Now, if I want to calculate the maximum number of nodes that can be at a level, it can be given by 2 raised to level. So, at level 0, we have 2 raised to 0, that is 1 node. At level 1, we have 2 raised to 1, that is 2 nodes. Whereas, at level 2, we have 2 square, that is 4 nodes and so on. If we are given a perfect binary tree, the number of nodes can be calculated by summing up the exponentials from 0 to level or height. The formula for this can be derived as 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1. So here, as levels are 2, the number of nodes can be 2 raised to 2 plus 1 minus 1, which gives us 7 as expected. What if I ask you to calculate the height of tree given the number of nodes? Well, if it is a full binary tree or a perfect binary tree, we can use the previous equation to derive the formula. I'll leave the math to you. So, the minimum height that a tree can have given n nodes will be given by log to the base 2 of height plus 1 minus 1. If we try to find the height given 7 nodes, we get this tree with 2 levels or height as 2 using the derived formula. The formula can also be rewritten as floor of log to the base 2 of height plus 1. Let's calculate the height of these trees. If the tree is null, the height is said to be minus 1, while for just the root node, the height is given as 0 as it is the 0th level. For the rest, we can use the formula. So the height of tree with 3 nodes given here is 1. Remember, the height of tree is given by the number of edges between root and the deepest leaf node and not the number of nodes between the root and deepest leaf. Generally, we try to keep the height of tree minimum so that at a given point, we need to perform minimum hops to reach the destination. Remember, if a tree is a perfect binary tree, the maximum time required to reach a particular node will be equal to the height of tree. So, more the height, more the time needed. If a tree is a skew tree, the height is equal to the number of nodes minus 1. So, it would be equivalent to a linked list. Thus, we try to keep a tree balanced. For a balanced binary tree, the difference between the height of left and right subtree is not more than k, wherein k is mostly 1. So, the absolute difference between the height of left and right tree for each node must be maximum 1. So, this is a balanced tree. 
but if you remove the node 5 from it, it becomes unbalanced as the height of the right tree for node 2 becomes 0 and that of the left is 2. The absolute difference becomes 2, which violates the property of balanced binary tree. Here are the properties that we have studied till now. The number of nodes in a full or a perfect binary tree is 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1. The number of nodes in a complete binary tree can be between 2 raised to h and 2 raised to h plus 1 minus 1. The minimum height of a binary tree is log to the base 2 of n plus 1 minus 1 or floor of log to the base 2 of n plus 1. Now that we have a basic idea of a binary tree, let's see how to represent it. Any node in a binary tree has three things. One is the data and rest two are the pointers. These pointers point to the left child and the right child respectively. In Java, a tree node can be represented as a class or a structure as in C. This class or a structure has three attributes, value of a node, reference to the left and the right node. That's it for this video. In the next video, we will learn the concept called binary search tree. So if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and click on the bell icon to get a notification whenever we upload the videos. Till then, keep learning.